talk to you a minute? Absolutely not, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. It's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. True that, and coach. What's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you got to take a step back. Right? You got to breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that, and, and everything gets real quiet. All right? So breathe. Take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. I wish you could skip this, though. Thanks. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. To an extent. Some of them. LSU looking for their fourth title in school history. They were champs way back in 1958 and twice in this century so far, 2003 and 2007. He'll let it go deep for... This is caught inside the 15. And he is into the end zone for an LSU touchdown. There we go, boys. There we go. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. And he will take this in. Let's go. LSU. Fast as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. Hey. Come on. Hey, you need to play better in the second half, all right? What? Just give me the ball, all right? Let me do my thing. I agree. Okay, on every play. Yeah, I'm sure the defense is going to figure that out. Okay, well, you need to figure it out. This isn't just a game to me. I know that. I know that, Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. George to throw. And this is going to be intercepted. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our pivot teammate on the spot, able to retain possession for them. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. A wide open, complete. That's a first down and then some, a 32 yard. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. That is caught. He's got straights. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right, eluding the pressure right. And that is caught. It's an LSU touchdown. There we go, boys. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off with great anticipation. He's at the 50, the 30, past the 20. Let's see if I can get another TD for my quarterback. This is almost like it's a story to end all stories behind a quarterback who had never taken a snap in college football until just nine days ago. For the first time since 2007, the LSU Tigers are your national champions. Ladies and gentlemen, please turn your attention to the podium at midfield for the presentation of the College Football Playoff National Championship Trophy as we present your College Football National Champion, the LSU Tigers. Jack Ford, talk about a long shot. <laughs> this man who's known as the quarterback whisperer, and I suggest you trademark that, by the way. Um, how are you feeling about your quarterback right now? I tell you, this kid's amazing. He worked around the clock to prepare for this game. I never seen anything like it. And I am so proud of what he's done. And under this kind of pressure, 
Hope all you NFL scouts out there are paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Come on. Deserve it, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Coach, this is you. This is great. Thank you. A perfect end to a too short season. You're leaving here a champion. I, 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 it's better than I ever thought it would feel. <laughs> I can't even describe it, really. It's just to be up on this stage, celebrating with these guys. It, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It is a perfect end, but it seems like you put up a pretty good case that it shouldn't be today. How do you feel about that? I, hey, I, I think I gave myself a shot. If the NFL comes calling, I'll pick up the phone. But this guy over here, this guy, the trophy man. Absolutely. Isaiah Streets, we are all aware of the loss of your brother and what it took to be here today. But can you tell us, in this moment, how you're feeling right now? Feels good, man! It's a lot, it feels it's a lot good! Feels, Taylor. Uh, I made a promise to my brother that I was going to... <laughs> you know, none of this... None of this would have been possible without this man right here. This dude came into an impossible situation. He's got heart. Love you, man. Hey, I love you, man. <sighs> See? This was for you, baby! Yeah! This was for you! Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! A lot of emotions out on the field tonight. This is what football is all about. About getting hit and getting back up. And as you can see in a season that was characterized by overcoming, these guys did just that and won a national championship. Back to you guys. Right. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, he's actually right here. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yolo? Hey, how's it going? It's Emily's dad. Look, I, I know that you got a lot on your plate, and I, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I, I did want to tell you that Emily's out of her surgery, and she is doing great. She got to see the, the game and everything. You have made a fan for life in her. Thank you so much for the kind words. Uh, please, have Emily stay in touch. I will. I will. Thank you. All right, bye. Take care. Demon baby. Football season's wrapped up and the draft is two months away. Today we kick off the NFL scouting Bang. program. Over the next seven days, more than 300 college prospects will run, jump, catch, and throw for NFL coaches and scouts. Kyle, who's your player to watch? Okay, it's the mythical backup quarterback who just won a national championship. Because this guy who's played in two games. Two games, and we're saying maybe a third round pick? Come on, the hype is unreal. Kyle, he did win a national championship. Yes, he did. It was incredible. Peter, eight quarters of football, third round pick. Get out of here. If he blows up the combine like some people expect, uh -huh. he could be a first round draft pick. No way. Pick. No, Nate. No way. Listen, this isn't a particularly strong draft class for the quarterback position. And you know when that happens, Lol. Get desperate for that kid. Daniel Jones? <laughs> oh, what if I get drafted by the Giants? That'd be gross. I'd retire. Yes, I hear you, and I've been hearing you for the last 15 minutes. I'm on top of it. How many times do you need to... Yes, I'm on top of it. I'm meeting with... I've got a few other guys to meet this week, and then... I know that there's a time restraint. I understand that. Thanks for taking the time to meet me. Yes. Well, I, I know what he wants. I understand what he wants. He's told me what he wants. You don't have to tell me what he wants as well, okay? okay. Just, can you hold on for a second? Okay. Thank you. No, time. just be quiet. I take any of the other top quarterbacks available, and I get praise, and I get to keep my job. Hmm? I pick you, <laughs> a player that barely even picked up a ball in college, and then I I'm nuts. And the seat that I've got to sit on gets red hot. So why don't you tell me why you should even be on my radar? When I found out I wasn't going to start in college, it became clear that I should transfer if I wanted to play at the next level, but I didn't. Because my word means something. I'm proud of my decision to stick. And if I was running a team, I think I would want players that were willing to compete. 
Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Call back yes, I'll have to call you back. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> oh, awkward. Are you for real? You know, you and I have a mutual friend, Mr. Jack Ford. He and I served on the same staff in St. Louis. What do you think he would have to say about your ability to uh, lead a locker room? Navigating a locker room can be tricky. I do my best. I try to find a balance between being the locker room guy and then the guy that the coaches can rely on to get the team bought in. But it's hard. You know, Jack had some concerns about your leadership. But I'm not seeing that. Wow, Jack. Scoop, I won you win your championship you and that's how you treat me with the measurables. So you go out there and you impress. You'll be on our radar. I can do that. Oh, he has a giant's mug. Me down. Thank you. Please no. Hand over your phone. I want to check your internet history. Oh. Uh. My phone? Is that just like normal procedure? You bet it is. Okay. You just give anyone your phone? If someone asked for your playbook, would you give them that too? Oh, awkward. No? What? What? You have something to hide? Look, son, this interview's about transparency. I think I'm being quite transparent. Not transparent enough. What do you? You're on a mountain in Alaska on a bus going 100 miles an hour. Where are you sitting on the bus? Bus in Alaska. Front of the bus? I go front of the bus. Not middle. Nope. Have you looked at the engine before you even got into the bus? Uh, Did you check the tire pressure? I hired a professional mechanic to inspect every part of the bus as he is more qualified than me. And I am aware of my strengths and weaknesses. Are you being cute with me, son? Yes. No. Oh, awkward. You're not. Now give me a serious answer. Would you be in the front of the bus, the middle of the bus, or the back of the bus, or the passenger side of the bus? I already answered the front of the bus. Why? Because if I can see where we're going, I can make sure we're okay. Is that the wrong answer? Funny how many eyes are on us right now, huh? Breaking us down, picking us apart. Every mistake amplified. Well, you got it though, right? At least I know I do. Hey, um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for your agent. I don't have an agent. Didn't have an agent. Less more. Congratulations. For what? For getting an agent. Me. Boom. That's really. I thought he was I gonna try to sell me some roids. Have I met you before? You're about to know me. It's like you have to throw, kid. Go get him. Or should I say, go get him, client? <laughs> Awkward. Uh, no, I'm good, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Got a lot of people already. Full roster. Two full. Eighteen out of twenty-four. I mean, not terrible, but not the best. Uh, New York fans were very vocal about you this week on social media. Please no. How would you feel about playing for the Giants? I mean, they do need me, but well, they're right. 
This is a team that needs a leader. And then I can be the guy for them. Very true. What do you feel is your biggest strength as an NFL quarterback? My mobility. Oh. Well, I pride myself in my ability to get the job done. I'm able to focus and perform under pressure, and I think you guys saw that in the college playoff. You definitely did. What do you say to the critics that think you aren't ready to play in the NFL? Have any of these critics ever played football? <laughs> Honestly, I don't care what they say. It's all white noise to me. All that really matters is what those NFL teams think, guys. I just, let's say this all doesn't work out for you. What's your plan B? No plan B for me. It's mm. a great answer. It's very mm. smart. Thank you. Bavarian chocolate cake. Nice twist. That's my plan. Uh, let it, um, let, let it go to voicemail. Build some anticipation. But, but if you answer it, you'll show that the teams can count on you. So, uh, Please answer the phone. So, uh, answer it, answer it, answer it. Hello? Congratulations. You're one of the select few players invited to this year's NFL Draft in Nashville. Please oh. your agent contact our office, and we'll see you in the Music City in April. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes! Oh, sorry. Wait. What are you gonna wear? I never even thought about that. You don't wear a suit, Doc. Come what on, you mean? Think. What is he gonna wear? Can I get a new a agent, suit. please? Oh, God! Never mind. I, I like it. I like how he thinks. I don't have a suit. Bro, you have a suit. You can purchase one. Oh, I wouldn't have gone with that color, though. Check this guy out, huh? It's a winner right there. Yeah. Come on, give him a turn. Give him a spin. That's it. Yeah, drink it all in. Okay, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I don't think I have to do that. Okay, right. Give me the over shoulder look. Yes. Here he is. Check on him. Looking good, man. Keep my way. Okay? My way. What's going on? I'll just you three. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, dog. It's yeah. my time to shine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, this guy. <laughs> Welcome to the 2019 National Football League Draft Live on NFL Network. An amazing spectacle right here in Nashville, Tennessee that has been filled with intrigue and drama. Six picks left in the first round. <laughs> Can't afford my condo representing a second rounder. Sorry. <sighs> Need more clients. Signal in here. Stinks. Hey, anybody know how much a uh, 26th pick makes? No? Th if that's the bank calling about my condo loan, tell them I'm not here. Just. What? Hello? Coach of the Denver Broncos. Oh, okay. Well, I, I can play for Denver. I can go with the Broncos. I'm okay with that. I'm ready to make 25 other teams regret their decision. That's what I like to hear. Welcome to the team. Thank you. I like to put the numbers together and see which position they focused on. And guess which position the Denver Broncos spent more time on than any other position? The quarterback position. Yeah. Here we go. Here's the commissioner with the Broncos pick. I wonder if they'll still have Flacco for me to play under. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I went in the first round. Let's go, boys. Number one.
at the top, gentlemen. The Broncos. Draft winners, draft losers. Uh, who deserves? <laughs> What the frick? They filled the need. Quarterback. That's great. They filled the need. They got a quarterback. Yay! And they spent a first round pick on a six round talent. That's a winner. Six round talent. Did you watch this dude? This guy's a yeah. dick. Did you see him at the Thank combine? you. Are you Thank serious? You. He's been jumping up the draft boards for months. Yeah, I watched him sit on the sideline in college. He couldn't even start for his college team. He's going to save an NFL franchise. Sure yes. is. And I'll tell you why. Because this isn't college. For the first time in his life, he actually has a coaching staff who is putting their faith in him. A coaching staff that actually believes in him. Wow. That guy's rude. So where are we headed? Oh, isn't it on the app? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to say anything because I'm a professional. But for what it's worth, I think you are the guy that's going to turn things around here for our quarterback situation. And I played a little juco ball myself. That's cool, man. That's cool. Had the coach in here last week, and I was not impressed at all. I do a little JV coaching in my spare time, so I have a really good feel about the game. Mm, she told him one of my plays. He could have used it this someday. Mm. You know, I actually haven't even met him yet. Coach Fangio? Guy's a defensive genius, or so they say. And that's all well and good, but our defense was fine last season. Our offense was the real problem. I don't know if you know much about our roster, but if you're smart, you'll get the ball to that Lindsey kid, the running back. He's averaged more than five yards a carry last year. Ooh, I love that dude. And hey, I get why Elway drafted the two of you, but honestly, I think you are the guy. And you tell Elway I said that, or I could give you my beeper and he could... Thanks. Uh, I'll pass it along. I'm not really sure how much they'll listen to me, though. I'm just a rookie. Had Chris Pratt in here last week. Hey, Chris Pratt in here. All right. Fights a raptor. The raptor's gonna win. That's just me. That's just me. I don't care how many names he calls me. In fact, I I actually did some. I do some archaeology on the side, and I found a T-Rex bone in Missouri once. I think it was a T-Rex bone. I was like, look at whoa! What the Sorry, frick? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, actually, I think you just dropped me off right up here, man. Oh, yeah, sure. Just right up front. Thank you. This is the start of something beautiful, kid. And in this city, if you need anything, if you need alpacas... If Wait, I, that means I still got drafted after Daniel Jones. Gross. You call me. You're the guy. If you...